We're gonna make some blue vine today. I'm just gonna mumble my way through it. Welcome back to Rewind with B. Schwitty because yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Today we're going to be doing something for Wind Down Wednesday that I really wanted to do ever since uh, visiting Switzerland in early February. Uh, I've always heard about mold wine or glue wine as they uh, hopefully pronounce the same way over in Swiss Germany and or Germany. Uh, the idea is that it's kind of a holiday tradition, um, mold wine across the world. I think the UK, there's a prominent mold, mold wine community, as well as uh, in Germany, uh, Austria, Switzerland, and then I think Glog is Nordic uh, mold wine. Uh, but I have friends in Switzerland, and uh, they sent me... A recipe for somewhat close to the Swiss style uh, glue wine. Glue wine. Uh, my German's horrible. And to be fair, I did send a very late text asking if I could get a pronunciation from them. Either way, we're gonna make some glue wine today. I'm just gonna mumble my way through it. Uh, today, here on Wine Down Wednesday, uh, this will be our Swiss style mold wine recipe. Now, let's do this. The things you'll need are a quarter cup of raw sugar, a bottle of red wine. We chose Pinot Noir because that's what grows out there in Switzerland. 500 milliliters of water, two large orange peels, two cinnamon quills, eight whole cloves, and a dash of nutmeg. Now, excuse me for borrowing a line from Rosanna Pancino, but let's put it all together. Start with the wine. Next goes the water. Throw in the sugar. Seven six. The orange peels. And the nutmeg and the clove. All right, we're gonna take this over to the stove and let it simmer for 15 to 20 minutes and then see how it turns out. So as you may have noticed, time has passed. Um, 15 minutes. 15 minutes have passed. Uh, I'm gonna try my glue line. Just because, uh, well, it smells amazing. Let me tell you this, it smells amazing in my house right now just from that little concoction we drummed up. And remember, you can increase the quantities to however much you want or need for your parties. Uh, at the Christmas markets, they make them in giant batches, but I figured I only needed a little bit for myself and to share with you here on Wine Down Wednesday. So once this timer goes off, I'm going to go strain it. Make sure you strain, strain all of the loose bits, the cloves, the cinnamon, the peels out. Uh, I'm just going to pour through a strainer into my mug. That I'm not going to picture. It's going to be messy. Might burn myself. See you in a few seconds. Here's my glue vine. You could, might be able to see the steam on my black shirt. It smells great. Certainly keep me warm this winter. Ooh. Oh, that's, that's quite good. 
All right, so make sure you use Pinot. If you're gonna follow my recipe, uh, the longer you cook it for, the more the alcohol will burn off. And um, you know, that's just great. It, it really makes me feel like I'm home in the middle of winter. Going to a Christmas market or village. Just like the good old days. Have you made Glühwein before or any type of mulled wine? Maybe grog? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Tell me if you have your own recipe you'd like to share with everyone. Uh, just let me know. Or if you try out my recipe, uh, hit me up on Instagram. Show me how it turned out for you and if you liked it or not. My handle is at bschwitty. Tune in this Friday to see me in a different Christmas sweatshirt for the start of the last three installments of our holiday gift guide for wine lovers. That's it for me here at Rewine with B. Schwitty. I'm B. Schwitty saying please comment, like, share, subscribe, and hit that subscribe button. It'd mean a lot. Um, if not, enjoy the Wuvine and enjoy the cool weather. Catch you next time.